Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so pumped about today's video. I'm gonna be sharing my Christmas wish list with you guys and some ideas you might wanna put on yours because my mom's already asking me what I want for Christmas and I got nothing. So I put together a list in case you guys are in the same boat and your mom or dad or friends or family, whoever is asking what you want for Christmas. I got you. I got a whole list ready to go. I'm gonna share it with you guys. A bunch of stuff that you might wanna ask for Christmas. I know exactly what I want. I mean, I want things all year round, who doesn't? However, when the holidays come around and I'm face to face asked what I want, I blank. So I hope this video helps you out. My Christmas background is not ready yet. I got the red lipstick going on. I have this sweater thing, but my background is not ready quite yet. I'm gonna do a little Christmas transformation soon to prepare for Vlogmas. This pumpkin will be a little Christmas tree. I'm gonna put some lights up in the back, make this look all cute. I hope you guys are excited about that. I think that's enough rambling for this intro. You know what this video is. If you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your post notifications. And also let me know if you had all the money in the world and all the power in the world, what would you get yourself for Christmas? Please let me know. Let's get into it. We're starting off with stocking stuffers. My family is a little weird. We have this tradition from one year we went to Hawaii for Christmas and we left on Christmas day. So we opened everything on Christmas Eve and ever since we've just kept it that way and done our Christmas on Christmas Eve. Oh my gosh, I didn't put my earrings on. I'll be right back. Hold on. We're back. I don't know where I left off, but I was talking about stocking stuffers. So first thing, fuzzy socks. This is a go-to. Everybody loves fuzzy socks. They're the best. Second thing is makeup. Makeup usually comes in really small packaging. So there's lots of good things you could ask for, especially the little samples at Sephora. I think those would be such good stocking stuffers and work perfectly. Candy slash snacks. My mom always puts some sort of something into our stockings. Oh, you know what I love? These are unmatched. The mini M&Ms that come in the Christmas tubes. I just down those things. Cute chapstick, thank you cards. Another thing my mom always puts in our stockings so we can write thank you cards to our relatives or friends, family members. Pure Vita bracelets, these are really inexpensive and I love them. I've lost a lot of the ones I have, but I think this is a really good idea for a stocking stuffer because they're small and like I said, really inexpensive. Bath bomb, Lush products. You could even pair that with the next thing, a jade roller. Another idea is maybe you could ask for a certain stocking stuffer theme. Everything I'm talking about in this video can even be gift ideas for someone else in your family or your friends. I think that would be genius to do a themed stocking stuffer. So you could do like a spa night, do the fuzzy socks, put a face mask in there, bath bomb, jade roller, all kinds of that stuff. Blue light glasses, these would be more of an upscale, pricier stocking stuffer, but still could work. Next up is a tile tracker. I'm probably the only person asking for this in my stocking for Christmas, but I'm gonna be driving by the time Christmas comes around and I have a lovely habit of losing things, especially keys. Whenever I lose my phone, I don't really have much to worry about because GPS tracking or the Find My iPhone app allows me to locate it or I'll play a sound to hear it, but you can't really do that with keys. So I'm asking for that in my stocking so I can put it on my car keys. Speaking of that, another thing I'm asking for my stocking is a mini pepper spray. My friend Macy has one of these on her car keys and I'm like, that's genius, I wanna get one. I am so paranoid about creepy people. So I think it's good to have some sort of self-defense and I wanna learn how to use pepper spray or something like that in case, God forbid, I'm ever in a situation where I would need to. Lastly, another good thing, I got this last year, my stocking is scrunchies, especially from Amazon or those rubber hair ties. You can get really, really inexpensive velvet scrunchies on Amazon. The one I got last year was like a pack of 40 and I looked it up, I think it was less than $10. That is it for the stocking stuffer ideas for your wish list or what to get family and friends. Next, I'm gonna share my list and after that, I'm going to talk about things from my Instagram that you guys said were the best gifts you've ever received or items on your wish lists. First item or items on my list are the lanyards or wallets from Thread Wallets. I'm gonna put the specific ones that I am asking for right here on the screen so you guys can see. This list also happens to be for my birthday. I have a December birthday on the 11th, so I'm also sending this to my mom just so you get understand the timing. Second thing is anything from Lululemon. I'm a Lululemon lover. It is so overpriced, but I think it's worth it because you just get so much use out of everything. Third thing on my list is gift cards, mainly to clothing stores. I love getting 
gift cards for my birthday or Christmas because yes, it's a gift, but I feel like it also creates an experience because you're able to go spend that gift and pick out something that's to your liking. Whereas somebody who's getting you a gift might not know your style or what you like, your size, you know what I mean? Next up, I have quality jewelry. Usually when I'm buying jewelry, because we've talked about this earlier with the tile tracker, I am an expert at losing things, especially things that are small, like rings. These are from H&M for like, I don't even know, probably 10 bucks. It came in a whole pack of these cheap rings, but over time they do get rusty and they turn your skin green. So I am asking for some more high quality jewelry that will last a while and I am going to make an effort to take good care of it so that I can wear it all the time and it won't rust because getting a quality piece of jewelry that you can wear every single day or for years is a better investment than just buying a new pack of cheap rings every couple months. Also, just be clear, I don't expect to receive everything on this list. I'm just reading it off to you guys so you get some ideas. This Girl on Fire book is the next thing I'm asking for on my list. This is, I'm reading it right here off my computer. The title is Girl on Fire, How to Choose Yourself, Burn the Rule Book, and Blaze Your Own Trail in Life and Business. Whenever I'm on Pinterest, I always see those posts where it says things like, five habits of successful people, 20 things to do for success. You you get the gist. Sometimes it'll be like, wake up at 5.30 in the morning, work out every day, take time for yourself. But every time I see those posts on Pinterest, it always says that successful people read tons of books to gain their knowledge. And I have to read books for school, but I really want to make it a point to read because school has really ruined reading for me with annotating. And I used to love reading books when I was younger. And before bed, I just scroll on social media and go on my phone. But I want to get one of these books so I can read it before bed or feel more encouraged and it's something fulfilling that isn't social media. And hopefully it'll make me more successful. Next thing is an Apple Watch. All my friends that have these absolutely love them. They're pretty pricey, but I feel like it makes you look really put together and based on what I've heard, it's really functional. One of the most enticing things about it is that it can track your sleep, I believe, and your workouts, things that your phone can't really do. Nike Air Force Ones are the next thing on my list. I'm always stealing Allie's AF Ones and it's about time I get my own so I don't steal hers. I know these have been like out of stock everywhere and they're hard to get, but I love the look of them so I put them on my list. Also in the shoe category are Doc Martens. Grace, my best friend, has these and she has the best style ever, the cutest outfits and she's always wearing her Docs. I especially love the white ones. These are so trendy right now and I feel like they just make an outfit. Last in the shoe department are good workout shoes. I've had the same Adidas for a really long time and they've lost all their support and I love to work out. I try to work out consistently if you follow my vlogs or my Instagram or whatever. You see me working out often and I just don't have a good pair of shoes and I know over time I'm gonna regret not having a good supportive pair of shoes because for running or high intensity workouts I know it's important for your joints and whatever else. So I specifically love the black ultra boosts from Adidas. Lastly on my list is Ray-Bans. I'm still a little iffy about this. I don't know if I'm gonna leave these on my list or not because I think I would rather have a bunch of cheaper sunglasses from Amazon or Target due to my habit of losing things that I've mentioned a lot in this video. Now onto your guys' recommendations. I compiled a list of the top things people said were on their Christmas list this year or the best gift they've ever received, all kinds of stuff like that. And I'm just gonna read it off right now. First one is a new phone. A lot of people said they were asking for the iPhone 12 for Christmas. Money was another top answer. The Apple Watch was also on there. Another thing that I thought of that I wanted to add to this list was a room makeover. This wasn't applicable to my list because I just moved, but I think this will be such a fun idea. And again, it would be something that you appreciate for a really long time versus just a little while after the holidays are over. A dog was another one. I surprisingly had a lot of people that said they wanted a dog for Christmas. And I just think to myself of those videos that you see on TikTok or Instagram, anywhere else of like little kids or families receiving puppies for Christmas and they open the box and they start crying. <sighs> Those really get me. The, and the, oh, the military homecomings with the dogs. 
when a dog dies in a movie, it's just over. LED lights was another one. Those are so trendy right now. And another person said an LED shower head. Clothes was a big one. Hydro flask and A-L-E-X-A. -E if you don't have one of these, you gotta get one. Amazon always has the best sales on them during the holidays, especially the Echoes. This is another one of those things that you will literally use all year round. I use mine every single day, whether it's for my alarm, I'm always demanding it to play music. Concert tickets, a couple people said this, if COVID was not a thing, they would ask for concert tickets, which is so fun. That's another one of those gifts that is like an experience. MacBook or computer, film camera, AirPods, a vacation, another one that goes in that event, event, experience category. Sports or workout equipment, makeup, a lot of people were saying specific palettes and I got a lot of people saying Glossier. Oh, another thing that I completely forgot that was on my list, I forgot to put it on there, was a Polaroid printer because I wanna fill up this thing right here. I have one Polaroid on there. Second to last, we have shoes, especially Vans and Converse, Ugg boots too. And lastly, gift cards. Talked about that earlier on when talking about my wish list. That is it for this video. And I leave you with this, that Jesus is the greatest gift of all. So even if you get coal in your stocking this year or you get nothing at all, every material thing will fade away. And as long as you have Jesus, you have everything you need. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I hope it gave you some ideas for your list. Please go follow me on Instagram if you have not already so you can participate in this stuff whenever I post question stickers and see more of my daily life. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you for almost 50,000 subscribers. You're the best and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.